Hello everyone and welcome to the grand final of the Tourism Product Development Company TPD Co Tourism Quiz 2024. Our finalists are Mount Airy Primary from Westmoreland and Hosanna Prep from St. James. I'm your host, Sheldon Reed. Our judges for this match are Cheryl Lewis, Gillian Baldeo and Megan Mollison. The TPD Co Tourism Quiz started in 2019 and provides an opportunity for children in the primary level of the education system to familiarize themselves with our tourism product. The quiz tests their knowledge of Jamaica's tourism as well as math, social studies, local and Caribbean news. Before we get into the action, let's hear from our Minister of Tourism, the Honorable Edmund Bartlett. It is indeed my absolute pleasure to address you all as we gather for the exciting finals of the fifth edition of TPDCO's National Tourism Quiz. This event holds a special place in my heart as it brings together the bright young minds who represent the future of the tourism industry. Jamaica's tourism sector is not just an economic pillar. It reflects our rich cultural heritage, breathtaking scenes and sights, as well as the warm hospitality that defines us as a people. The young minds competing tonight have demonstrated resilience and an impressive grasp of these elements, showcasing their deep understanding and commitment to our nation's tourism. I'm proud to highlight that Jamaica welcomed some 4.1 million travelers and earned 4.2 billion US dollars in 2023. And already, we have recorded a historic 2 million visitors within the first five months of the year. Preliminary data has highlighted that the island welcomed 1,265,830 stopover arrivals and 745,812 cruise passengers from January to May. This translates to an 8.5 increase in arrivals and $1.9 billion in earnings, which put us well on track to meet our target of 5 million visitors and earn $5 billion by 2025. This accomplishment underscores the importance of nurturing our tourism industry and investing in the talent and skills of our youth. I'm especially excited to share that we have 32 schools participating in this year's competition, doubling the number from last year. This remarkable increase serves as an account of the growing interest in and enthusiasm for tourism among our young people. It shows that more schools and communities are recognizing the importance of tourism education and the opportunities that it presents for our nation's future. I would like to, at this point, commend the Tourism Product Development Company, TPDCO, for organizing and executing this wonderful initiative. By engaging our youth in such educational and competitive activities, we are fostering a generation of informed, enthusiastic ambassadors for Jamaica. These young individuals are the future of our tourism industry, and their knowledge and passion will be instrumental in driving the sector forward. As we watch the final round unfold, let us remember the broader significance of this competition. Tourism is an ever-evolving industry that requires innovation, creativity, and a deep appreciation for our cultural and natural assets. The knowledge and level of awareness generated by our young participants today will undoubtedly contribute to the sustainable growth and development of our tourism sector. I would like to thank the teachers, coaches, and parents who have supported these bright minds throughout their journey. Your encouragement and guidance have been invaluable in shaping their success. A special thanks goes to the donors and co-sponsors whose generosity has made this event possible. Your support ensures that we continue to provide these valuable opportunities for youth, helping them to realize their potential 
and make meaningful contribution to our nation. To our finalists, I encourage you to approach this moment with confidence and pride. You have already achieved so much, and tonight is your opportunity to shine even brighter. Let us continue to nurture and celebrate the talents of our youth, ensuring that they have the tools and opportunities to excel. Together, we will continue to build a thriving tourism sector that benefits all Jamaicans and showcases the best of what our beautiful island has to offer. Thank you and best of luck to all our finalists and may the best team win. Thank you, Minister. And it's now time to welcome our finalists. Let's meet the team from Mount Airy Primary. Hello, everyone. My name is Idris Gayanet, and in the future, I would love to become an entrepreneur. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Lexan Morgan. In the future, I'd like to become a doctor. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Israel Bakenan, and in the future, I would love to become a meteorologist. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Sahur Bakenan. In the future, I'd love to become a lawyer. Thank you. And now, we meet the team from Hosanna Prep. Hello everybody, my name is Shanae Kelly. I am 11 years of age and in the sixth grade. In the future, by God's will, I will become both a pathologist and an artist. Hello everybody, my name is Andre Thu and I am in the sixth grade and 11 years of age. In the future, my profession would be a software engineer. Hello everyone, my name is Tenny Smalls. I am 10 years old and in the fifth grade. In the future, by God's will, I will become a pediatrician. Hello everyone, my name is Khaleesi Molyneux. I am 11 years old and in the sixth grade. My preferred profession in the future would be either a neurologist or a journalist. Thank you. Thank you, teams. So we now get straight into the action. Earlier, we had the toss and Hosanna Prep won. They decided to let Mount Airy go first. So let's get to section one. In this section, both teams will be asked questions alternately. The teams will have 10 seconds to answer. Each correct answer is worth one point. This section lasts for six minutes, so let's have six minutes on the clock. So we begin with Mount Airy in the subject of social studies. People born outside of Jamaica to Jamaican citizens can register as Jamaican citizens. Is this true or false? True. 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 Correct. Hosanna Prep, social studies to you. If a Jamaican man marries a woman who is a citizen of another country, the wife cannot register as a Jamaican citizen. Is this true or false? False. false. Correct. Mathematics to you, Mount Airy. A golf caddy at a resort collects 55, 65, and 72 golf balls respectively after three rounds. What is the average number of the golf balls collected by the caddy? Sixty-four. Correct. Mathematics to you, Hosanna Prep. A pastry chef at a resort bakes 84, 76, and 71 cupcakes at three different times during the day. What is the average number of cupcakes baked by the chef? 77. Mm -hmm. Correct. TP Deco Affairs for you, Mount Airy. This is a visual question. Please look at the monitor and identify this person. Ian Deer. Ian Deer. Chairman of TP Deco, correct. TP Deco for you, affairs for you as well, Hosanna Prep. This is a visual question. Please look at the monitor and identify this person. Laura, Laura, Heron. Laura, Laura Heron. Heron. Deputy Chairman of TP Deco, correct. Spanish to you, Mount Airy. What is the English translation for IK Masai? What else is there? What else is there? Correct. Spanish to you, Hosanna Prep. What is the English translation for El Programa de la Semana? The weekly schedule. Correct. Mm -hmm. Discover Jamaica, Mount Airy. In which tourist resort area is the boutique hotel Hibiscus Lodge? Ocherios. Correct. Discover Jamaica to Hosanna Prep. In which tourist resort area is the boutique property called Hotel Mockingbird Hill? Mm -hmm. Chelani. 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 Incorrect. Port Antonio. Mm -hmm. Tourism News, this is a visual question to you, Mount Airy. Please look at the monitor and identify this person. 
Robin Russell. Robin Russell. President of the Jamaica Hotel and Tourism Association. Correct. Tourism news to you as well. Hosanna Prep, this is also a visual question. Please look at the monitor and identify this person. Robin Hill. Incorrect. John Lynch, chairman of the Jamaica Tourism Board. Mount Airy, tourism facts. Jamaica welcomes tourists from the capital city of Kampala in which country? Cambodia. Cambodia. Incorrect. Uganda. Tourism facts to you, Hosanna Prep. Jamaica welcomes tourists from the capital city of Caracas in which country? Caracas. Nino. Singapore. Incorrect. Venezuela. Mount Airy Primary. Adventures of Sprucey and Limey. In what year did Dr. Alexander James McCarthy donate his property to a community in Montego Bay? Eighteen eighty. Incorrect. Nineteen o six. Adventures of Sprucey and Limey to you, Hosanna Prep. What is the current name of the property donated to a community in Montego Bay by Dr. Alexander James McCarthy in nineteen o six? Doctor's Cave. Doctor's Cave Beach. Correct. Team Jamaica Mount for Mount Airy Primary. What is the minimum number of hours of interactive training for participants in the Team Jamaica program? 28 hours. Correct. Team Jamaica to you, Hosanna Prep. The Team, Jamaica pro the Team Jamaica program is delivered through ATPs. What does ATP stand for? Advanced, advanced Trade Program. Incorrect. Approved Training Partners. Jamaican Culture for Mount Airy Primary. What is the Jamaican word for a ghost which is often used in storytelling? Dope. Dope. Correct. Jamaican culture to Hosanna Prep. And Nancy's stories originated from which West African tribe or people? Accra. 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 Incorrect. Ashanti. Oh. Discover Jamaica for Mount Airy. Is Jackie's on the Reef a wellness retreat in Montego Bay, Ocho Rios, or Negril? Negril. Negril. Correct. Discover Jamaica for Hosanna Prep. Is Kibo's Hotel a vacation spot in Savannah Lamar, Treasure Beach, or Port Antonio? Savannah Lamar. Correct. TP Deco Affairs to Mount Airy. The TP Deco's craft development program involves a Rutland Point craft market in which resort area? Montego Bay. Incorrect. Negril. TP Deco Affairs to Hosanna Prep. The TP Deco's craft development program involves the Harbor Street craft market in which resort area? Falmouth? Incorrect. Montego Bay. Mount Airy Social Studies. In which Jamaican parish is the place named Stony Hill? St. Thomas. St. Thomas. Incorrect. St. Andrew. Hosanna Prep Social Studies. In which Jamaican parish is the Dolphin Head Mountain? Clarendon? Incorrect. Hanover. Mathematics to Mount Airy Primary. A hotel ballroom can accommodate 19 rows of chairs, with each row containing 17 chairs. What is the maximum number of chairs which the ballroom can hold? Three, two, three. Correct. Mathematics to Hosanna Prep. A large garden at a resort has 18 rows of rose plants, with each row containing 13 rose plants. How many rose plants are there in the resort garden? Two thirty-four. Mm. Correct. And that's the end of section one. The scores are Hosanna Prep on seven points and Mount Airy Primary on ten points. Here now is a special tip from the TP Deco. Teamwork helps to solve dif difficult problems. It can also bring new ideas to the table to improve decision-making and build morale. Be a good team player. Please stay with us. The grand final of the TP Deco Tourism Quiz 2024 continues after this break. What the world needs now is more than a vacation. We need to come back to feeling our best selves again. Back to inviting. Back to loving. Back to life. Back to the little bit of Jamaica that's inside all of us. Come back to being lively again. Back to laid back. Back to romantic. Come back to the vibe that comes
Dreams Alive in Jamaica. In the land of wood and water, some call it paradise, there are problems. But a hero rises to save the day. With his best friend Limey, Sprucey does his part to make Jamaica a better place. Sprucey, you hear Beggy get money from a tourist uptown? For what? For talking, simple thing, him get ten dollar for. Is ten dollars American him get? Of course, what else he could be? You never hear a pound. A pound or what? Sprucey, a gun try a thing. A big ship can't just come and Beggy get something and I don't get. No, Limey, that's harassment. Don't make Jamaica into a Beggy Beggy culture. But it don't fear that him get an I don't get. Limey, listen. You let him do the wrong thing. You know to do the right thing. You remember when we were writing our report from the cockpit country? You were so upset when you and me write the report and Beggy put his name on the paper after him never contributes. But this and that is two different things. No, it's not. Begging for something that somebody else work hard for is unfair. Do the right thing. Alright, Shusi, but I'm not getting anything for doing the right thing. That's when you know you're doing the right thing. Welcome back. You're watching the grand final of the TPD Code Tourism Quiz 2024. The scores are Hosanna Prep on 7 points and Mount Airy Primary on 10 points. It's now time for Section 2, Tourism in 90 Seconds. In this section, each team will get 90 seconds to answer as many questions as possible with one point for each correct answer. Again, we begin with Mount Airy. Is the Cuyaba Boutique Beach Hotel located in Negril? Montego Bay, Montego Bay or o Incorrect. Negril. Jamaica's national anthem can only be sung at public gatherings and not played. Is this true, true or false? True. true. Incorrect. False. It can be either sung or played. TPDCO's Team Jamaica training program gives tourist workers high, higher self-esteem. Is this true or false? False. Incorrect. True. Price and promotion are two of the four P's of marketing of Jamaica's tourism. What are the other two P's? Product and Peace. Incorrect. Product and place. Give the first name of the man after whom the Sturge Town Free Village in St. Anne was Joseph. named. Correct. Which of these Caribbean countries is larger in size? The Dominican Republic or Haiti? Haiti. Haiti. Incorrect. The Dominican Republic. East Indians introduced the cannabis plant to Jamaica. Is this true or false? True. true. Correct. The place name Armage in Trelawney's originates from which nationality? Indian. Incorrect. Irish. Is Jamaica, in Jamaica, is rundung a type of game? Food. food. Correct. What is the English translation of El Traje de Baño? Sensut. Correct. The German Shepherd, Poodle, and Doberman are all breeds Dog. of... Correct. Who is Jamaica's Minister of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade? St. Alban Hill. Incorrect. The Honorable Camina Johnson-Smith. What is the product of... And that is the end of your section, your 90, section, your 90 seconds, Hosanna Prep. The place named Madras in St. Anne originates from which nationality? Indian. 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 Correct, or East Indian. Is the Lashings Indian. Hotel and Villas located in Port Antonio, Mandeville, or Treasure Beach? Pass. Pass. Treasure Beach. Boys and men should remove their hats during the playing of the Jamaican True. National. True. Correct. TPD Co's Team Jamaica training program gives tourist workers greater job satisfaction. True. This is true. true. Correct. Kingston, Montego Bay, and Negril are three of the resort areas in Jamaica. Name the other three. Um, the South, South Coast, Coast and Treasure Beach, Beach, and Falmouth. Accepted correct. 
which free village in St. Catherine was named after the Slide. former governor of Jamaica? Slide. 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 Correct. Which of these Caribbean countries is in the Lesser Antilles, Barbados or Haiti? Barbados. Barbados. Correct. The Dr. Bird is not endemic to Jamaica. Is this true? False. False. In, correct. Hmm? In Jamaica, hmm? is Jacka's corn a type of biscuit, bread or dumpling? Biscuit. 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 Correct. What is the English translation of Ace Frio? It is cold. Correct. Bats, whales and humans all belong to what group of vertebrate animals? Mammals. Mammals. Correct. Who is Jamaica's Minister of Industry, Investment and Commerce? Uh, Arbin Hill. Hill. Correct, the Honourable. What is the product of 35.89 and 100? 3,589. Correct. Tourists travel to Jamaica from Monrovia, the capital city of which country? Uh, yeah. Liberia. You passed first, the answer was Liberia. Uh, it's okay, it's okay. And that is the end of your 90 seconds Hosanna Prep and the end of 90 seconds in tourism. The scores are Hosanna Prep, 18 points, and Mount Airy Primary, 15 points. The final section is up next, and that will decide our winners. More from the grand final of the TPDCO Tourism Quiz 2024 after this break. In the land of wood and water, some call it paradise, there are problems. But a hero rises to save the day. With his best friend Limey, Sprucey does his part to make Jamaica a better place. Did you know that Water Square had running water before New York City? All right, Sprucey, save it for the tourists. No, sir. I'm not ready to go to jail. Jail? What do you mean? It's illegal for unauthorized people to conduct tours. Big man thing. I know I was going to show some toys around. But they're not easy. Excuse me, boys. Hello there. Hello, sir. Hello, miss. Hi. Would you be able to tell us anything about where we are? Sure, but we can't take you anywhere. It's illegal. Well, he certainly knows his stuff. Man, we ain't asking for a tour. But can you tell us anything historical? I can. We're currently in Water Square, Falmouth, the first place in the Western Hemisphere to have running water. The water was fed from a water wheel at the Martha Bray River. I just remembered something too. Trelawney has the cockpit country, home to the second largest butterfly in the world, the giant swallowtail, endemic to Jamaica. I never knew that. And why are you wearing little brown suits? These are our school uniforms. They keep us cute. Look, we gotta go now, but thank you very much for giving us the information. Come again. Maybe I'll try for a permit when I grow up. That was fun. I'm glad you think so. I even learned something. <laughs> Welcome back. You are watching the big one, the grand finale of the 2024 TPDCO Tourism Quiz. The scores are Hosanna Prep on 19 points and Mount Airy Primary on 15 points. During the second round, Tourism in 90 seconds, Hosanna Prep lost a point for this question. Kingston, Montego Bay and Negril are three of the resort areas in Jamaica, named the other three. They got that, in, that question incorrect. It should have been either Ocho Rios, South Coast, Port Antonio, Portland, or Falmouth. So now, with that, we go to section three. In this section, teams will alternately select questions from four categories, namely Adventures of Sprucey and Limey, Math, Social Studies, and Discover Jamaica. Each category will have three questions worth two, four, and six points, respectively. For every correct answer, teams will get the full point value, but will lose half the point value if the answer is incorrect. For example, if a team selects a question worth six points and answers correctly, they will receive six points. 
but if they answer incorrect, they will lose half the point value, which is three points. So it's risk or reward in this section. Teams will have 10 seconds to answer each question. And again, we begin with Mount Airy Primary. So Mount Airy Primary, please select your category and question. Spruce Lime is six points. Spruce Lime is six points. What was the name of the famous American miniaturist who was the one of the visiting artists of Falmouth, Trelawney, in the 18th century? Joseph 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 Correct. Over to you, Hosanna Prep. Please select your category and question. Math for six points. Math for six points. Taking pi as 22 over 7, what is the circumference of a large circular plot on a hotel property if the diameter is of the plot is 14 meters? 44 meters? Correct. Yeah. Mount Airy Primary, please select your category and question. Discover Jamaica, six points. Discover Jamaica for six points. Set on a cliff overlooking the Caribbean Sea, the African-inspired oceanfront property known as Great Huts is located in which resort area? Ontario's. Incorrect. Port Antonio, Portland. Hosanna Prep, please Social select your category Social and question. Social studies for six points. Social studies for six points. The question is, the Earth's axis is tilted at an angle of how many degrees to the sun? 23 and a half degrees. Correct. Mount Airy Primary, your turn. Your Spruce question. and Limey, four points. Spruce and Limey for four points. In which decade did Jamaican reggae icon Bob Marley first move to Trenchtown to live? 1950s. 1950s. Correct. Hosanna Prep, your question and category, please. Math for four, Math four points. points. Math for four points. A hotel bartender spends one-eighth of his weekly salary on food and one-third on rent. In the lowest okay. terms, what fraction of the bar bartender's weekly salary remains? 13 over 24? Is that your final answer? No. Correct. Yes. Mount Airy Primary, your question and category, please. Discover Jamaica, four points. Discover Jamaica for four points. Goldeneye, a retreat in Rockabessa St. Mary, was a retreat of which famous author who penned the James Bond novels? Ian Fleming. Ian Fleming. Ian Fleming. Correct. Your question and category, please, Hosanna Prep. Social, Social studies, studies for four, four points. points. Social studies for four points. What is the name for a long, narrow piece of land that juts out into the sea but is connected to the mainland? Oh, peninsula, yeah. peninsula. Peninsula. Correct. Yeah. Mount Air Primary, your turn. Category and question. Spruce and Limey, two points. Spruce and Limey for two points. Dr. Lewis Aschenheim, was, who is buried in Falmouth, Trelawney, was one of the first doctors in Jamaica to use which medicines to prevent pain during surgery? Anesthesia. 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 Correct. Hosanna Prep, your question please, category. Math for two points. Math for two points. A craft vendor sells an item for Jamaican $1,587. A tourist buys the item and pays him with a Jamaican $5,000 banknote. How much change did the tourist receive? $3,413. Correct. And the second to last question for this round, Mount Airy Primary, what is your category and question? Please? Discover Jamaica, two points. Discover Jamaica for two points. Is the Boardwalk Village a small hotel in Montego Bay, Negril, Port Antonio, or Treasure Beach? Grill. Mm -hmm. Negril. Correct. And your final question, Hosanna Prep, which will determine our winners for this match. Your category and question, please. Social, social studies. Points for social studies. Yeah. What is the name of Jamaica's supreme law? Uh, the Constitution. 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 Correct. Oh, wow. And that's the end of the match. The scores are Hosanna Prep on 43 and Mount Airy Primary on 30 points. We're going to double check the scores and return with the final results after this break. In the land of wood and water, some call it paradise, there are problems. But a hero rises to save the day. With his best friend Limey, Sprucey does his part to make Jamaica a better place.
Sprucey and Limey have made their way to a grand food festival in town. I feel so excited. Me too. And I'm hungry in preparation for it. <laughs> You're something else. Your belly going to put you in trouble. I have no apology. Before good food, we yes, make belly boss. Jamaican cuisine not ordinary, you know. I know. It reflects our rich heritage from as far as the Tainos. We have influences from the Spaniards, the British, the Chinese, and the Indians too. Don't forget the Africans. How could I? They gave us one pot knees like rundown. See some mackerel rundown over there at that stall. Let's sample. One serving, sir. And give me two slices of roast bird fruit. I hope you have money, Sprucey. Is who making the order? I feel like I'm in heaven. Leave room for something else. You ever hear colic? I'm well prepared. I can sample anything. See the Indian influence in our cuisine? Everything Chris and curry. Goat, chicken, beef, even curry fish. Let's share one of the curry beef. Okay, since you one can't finish it. Did you know that it was the British who brought puddings and things like pot roast to Jamaica? I thank them. We must find either a sweet potato or a cornmeal pudding today. With the lolly and slush on the top, Granny used to say, hella top, hella bottom. And hallelujah in the middle. <laughs> You're funny. Let's check out the jerk. Guess what's your main course? With a few festivals, please. We will need something cool to wash it down. Pick your choice. Uh, lovely lady, what nice juice you have there. I have sorrel, sour sap, passion fruit, and june plum, all freshly made. June plum for me. I'll take a sorrel. Don't finish all your money now, Sprucey. I wonder why you telling me that. Pay the lady. I thought you were treating me. My birthday is next month. Crazy boy. Come, the entertainment about to start. Come learn the latest dance move, even though you have two left foot. Welcome back. We have checked the scores and the results are confirmed. Hosanna Prep is our winner. And congratulations to Hosanna Prep and well tried to Mount Airy Primary. In the true spirit of sportsmanship, we invite the captains of both teams to shake hands. Captains. So again, the final scores are Hosanna Prep on 43 points and Mount Airy Primary on 30 points. Let's thank the hardworking teachers. So from Hosanna Prep, we have Shami Dawkins and Donovan Hansen Jr. While from Mount Airy Primary, we have Mark Taylor and Andrea Campbell. Now let's hear from the Executive Director of the Tourism Product Development Company, Mr. Wade Mars. This has been another amazing season for the Tourism Quiz hosted by the Tourism Product Development Company, TPDCO. The quiz included schools from all six of our resort areas and is a true representation of our national product. At a time of tremendous growth for Jamaica's tourism product, it is impressive to see our youngsters fully on board with their knowledge and grasp of the sector's importance to so many lives in our beautiful island. I congratulate all 32 teams that stepped up this year to participate. Special kudos to our finalists and eventual winners. Hosanna Prep, now you are true ambassadors of tourism 
and Jamaica will benefit from your knowledge as you return to your homes, schools, and communities. Like so many Jamaicans, we are proud of all that our island has to offer to local, regional, and international visitors. That's why we have committed significant resources, expertise, and time to invest in this quiz in order to shape the next generation of leaders in our industry. We are optimistic that the passion and dedication of our children today will reap huge dividends for the tourism industry going forward. The TPDCO has always been committed to enhancing and developing Jamaica's tourism product. Our mandate is to ensure that Jamaica's resort areas remain first world and first class, showcasing the best of our country. We thank the Ministry of Tourism and its public bodies, the Jamaica Tourist Board, the Tourism Enhancement Fund, Jamaica Vacations, and the Montego Bay Convention Center for partnering with us, as well as our production and broadcast partner, the Television Jamaica. Finally, thanks to all our donors who have worked with us over the years to provide exciting prizes and help celebrate our children's deep commitment to learning about the tourism product. Again, congrats to our champions and to all who continue to contribute to Jamaica land we love, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mars, and thank you to the TPDCO for your commitment to continued development and growth of Jamaica's tourism product. Now, thanks again to the teams and their coaches and the entire production team from TPDCO. After the break, we present trophies and prizes, so please stay tuned. In the land of wood and water, some call it paradise, there are problems. But a hero rises to save the day. With his best friend Limey, Sprucey does his part to make Jamaica a better place. Sprucey and Limey divert from their families while on a Kingston trip to Devon House. Devon House is known for more than its ice cream in a limey. I know, this place has a lot of history. The Greg shop restaurant over there was actually a stable for horses. Yes, and when we turn the corner, you will see George Tibbles' mansion. Yes, man, Jamaica's first black millionaire. Now that's what I like to hear. This looks bigger in real life, man. He was very rich to build such a big house. You should have seen it back in the day. It went as far as the Canadian Embassy. What you're not saying? Don't talk too long, Trucy. Ice cream, all in me. Love your belly, sir. The house has a big ballroom that was used to host guests. I can imagine how big. Was Mr. Stibel the only one who lived here? No, it was later sold to entrepreneur Reginald Merhedo and then the Lindo family. Must have been nice to live here. It never have ice cream shop yet, Lyman. Bet you didn't know they were going to demolish Devon House. No. It was left empty and developers wanted to demolish it, but the National Trust stepped in and bought the property. Good. It was then declared a national monument in 1990. No, that's what I like to hear. It have so much shop now. I'll sell some nice party. Yes, that's the bakery. Tourists love to visit Devon House to buy the food and ice cream. They have good taste. Look at that beautiful bird over there. Yes, Devon House is so beautiful. People come here for photo shoots and to relax on the lawn. Yes, man. Our ice cream is so good, it was named number 4 best ice cream in the world. No wonder I'm drooling. Alright, come Limey, time for ice cream. Make sure you have your money. Not as much as George Stibble. I have homework for you, you know. Bet you never tell me how Lady Musgrave Road got its name. Oh, I must know that. And back then, what was the era at Trafalgar and Hope Roads in Kingston called? You're not being fierce, Rosie. I have to research it. One last one. What is gastronomy? Have mercy!
Welcome back. Hosanna Prep is the winner of the 2024 TPD Go Tourism Quiz. The final scores were Hosanna Prep on 43 points and Mount Airy Primary on 30 points. This has been another wonderful season for the quiz as our young minds explore and get integrated into Jamaica's leading industry, tourism. As usual, we have some great prizes for the finalists and the third and fourth place teams to, the, to reward them for their excellence. First, we invite Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Tourism, Jennifer Griffith, to present the winners with the championship trophy. All right, Ms. Griffith, we're going to ask you to kind of remain as we invite the chairman of the TPD Co, Ian Dare, to present a prize of $200,000 and replicas of the trophies to the individual team members and two reserves. All from the TPD Co. Thank you, Ms. Griffith and Mr. Dare. Now we ask Mr. Wade Mars, Executive Director of the TPD Co, to present the members of the runner-up team and two reserves with their replica trophies and $150,000, also from the TPD Co. All right, thank you, Mr. Mars. For the winners, the Hilton Hotel and Spa Resort has day passes for 16 members and two coaches. We invite David Thompson, Chief Technical Director in the Ministry of Tourism, to make that presentation. All right, thank you, Mr. Thompson. And for the runners up, there is a day pass for fun, rest, and relaxation from the Baha'i Principe Resort in Jamaica for the team, two reserves, and two coaches. Making that presentation is Mr. Lionel Mary, Director of Product Development and Community Tourism. And there's more luxury and pampering for the champions. Sandals Resorts International gifts them a day pass for the team, two reserves, and coaches. That presentation will be made by Ms. Kimisa Griffiths Buchanan, Director of Corporate Services at the TPD Group. Thank you, Mrs. Griffiths Buchanan. The Moon Palace Resorts Ocho Rios has day passes for the winning coaches plus a guest. Making that presentation is Carolyn McDonald Riley, Director of Tourism Linkages Network at the Tourism Enhancement Fund. Thank you, Mrs. McDonald Riley. We would now like to invite Ms. Lucretia Green, Acting Manager of Tourism Information Center at the Jamaica Tourist Board, to present on behalf of the Moon, Half Moon Resort in Montego Bay. A prize of an amazing luncheon for the team, two reserves, and two coaches of the third place school, Mona Prep. Thank you, Miss Green. Our next prize for the winners and their coaches is a day of excitement and adventure from Chukka Adventure Tours. Making that presentation is Antoinette Bernard from TPD Co Destination Manager. Now it's time for the Dolphin Cove Attractions in Ocho Rios to present its meet and greet tour to the winners and their coaches. We invite Ms. Rosemary Carty, Corporate Secretary at TPD Co to make that presentation. Thank you, Ms. Carty. Seven House Attractions now presents the champions and their teachers with its Patty Lovers Tour. Making that presentation to the team, reserve, and teachers is Kerryon Mason, Director of Public Procurement at TPD Co. 
and Miss Nation will remain with us to present the Devon House Sleep Escape for Prize to the runners up and And there's more from Devon House. It's their Coconut Cooler Tour prize to the third place team, Mona Prep. And to the fourth place team, Mount St. Joseph Prep, it's their Mansion Tour. Again, Miss Mason will make that presentation. Thank you, Miss Mason. Parang Industries, also known as Walker's Wood, has a lovely gift basket for members of the winning team, reserves, and the teachers. Making that presentation is Damian Anglin, Corporate and Strategic Manager Management Specialist at TPDCO. Thank you, Mr. Anglin. The Montego Bay Marine Park Trust will host the champions and their coaches on an education glass bottom boat tour. Making that presentation is Kenya Kedo Lang, TPD Co Destination Manager for Montego Bay. And Ms. Kedo Lang will also present a similar prize to the runners up and their coaches. Thank you, Ms. Leng. And not to be left out are the team members and coaches of the third place team, Mona Prep, and fourth place team, Mount St. Joseph Prep. They will also enjoy the Glass Bottom Boat Tour. Again, presenting that prize is Ms. Kedo Leng. All right, thank you, Mrs. Kedo Leng. Sangster's Bookstores will now present a gift certificate to the champions. Making that presentation is Ruth Harris, Executive Training Manager of TPDCO. And we ask Mrs. Harris to present Sangster's gift certificate to the runner-up team. So thank you. Thank you, Ms. Harris. Sherwin Williams, a world leader in paint, has five gallons of paint for the champion school. We now ask the winning coach to accept the prize from Erica Brown Whittingham, Executive Human Resource Manager at TPDCO. <laughs> Mrs. Brown Whittingham will also present three gallons of paint to the runner-up school. We ask their coach to accept that prize. The third place school, Mona Prep, and fourth place school, Mount St. Joseph Prep, will be presented with three gallons and two gallons of Sherwin Williams paint, respectively. Again, making that presentation is Mrs. Brown Whittingham. Thank you, Mrs. Brown Whittingham. River Raft Limited will gift its exciting rafting on the Martha Bray Tour to the coaches of the runner-up team. Making that presentation is Mr. Lionel Mary, Director of Product Development and Community Tourism at TPDCO. And Mr. Mary, please, you will stay with us to present a similar prize to the team reserves and coaches of the third place team, Mona Prep. Thank you very much, Mr. Mary. The Spanish Court Hotel has a lunch or dinner voucher for the coaches of the runner-up team, plus a guest of their choice. Making that presentation is Mr. David Dobson, Chief Technical Director at the Ministry of Tourism. Thank you, Mr. Dobson. And it will be a day of pampering from Spa Divine for the coaches of the third place team, Mona Prep, and a guest. We invite Ms. Kimisa Griffiths Buchanan, TPD Co's Corporate Services Director, to make that presentation. Thank you, Mrs. Griffiths Buchanan. We also have a special prize for the school from St. James with the highest score. 
It's a US $30 token for each team member to use at Zeppelin's Fun Factory, Coral Cliff. The prize also includes one complimentary meal each for the team and their coaches. So congratulations to Hosanna Prep, whose top score of 47 points gives them the prize. Making the presentation is Ian Dare, chairman of TPD Pro. Thank you, Mr. Dare. Of course, all participants in the 2024 TPDCO Tourism Quiz receive certificates of participation and, special, and a special token from TPDCO. Congratulations to all of you. And so, the curtain comes down on the prize-giving segment of the 2024 season of the TPDCO Tourism Quiz. On behalf of the entire production team, our sponsors and donors, I'm Sheldon Reed, wishing you pleasant viewing. <laughs>